Hi, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this video series, we're going to learn the two-player game Star Wars Legion, designed by Alex Davey and published by Fantasy Flight Games. It's a time of civil unrest, and a scrappy rebel alliance faces a ruthless galactic empire in a galaxy far, far away. Or, on the table in front of you, Star Wars Legion is a tabletop miniatures game, meaning you'll have figures you can collect customize, and even paint if you choose. And over the next few videos, I'll show you everything you need to know to get started and how to play using just the core set. Along the way, we'll also take a look at some of the expansion material for this game as well. In this video, we're going to begin by learning how to assemble the models. The figures come unassembled in bags, and it looks like I've put everything together already. But I haven't. I saved one that we could do together so you can see how this works. The rule book includes this two-page spread that will provide instructions on how the pieces go together. And here we find the specific details for the miniature we'll be assembling right now, the Rebel Trooper Unit Leader. To assemble the miniatures, you'll need some super glue like this, and you might want a hobby knife as well, just to be able to go over the miniature and find any bits of plastic sticking out that shouldn't be. Sometimes there are mold lines from the casting process that get left behind and can be taken off easily with a sharp edge by scraping across any abnormalities or just cutting them away. With that done, let's move on to the assembly, and for this, I'm going to be putting some light dabs of glue into each of the arm sockets. And you don't want to add too much, just enough to ensure that once the pieces go in here, the glue will spread around evenly, but not be gushing out all over the place. <laughs> now, it's simply a matter of putting the arms into these sockets. And most of the sockets have a unique shape, so you can't really fit these in the wrong way. And once they are in place, you'll just want to hold them tight for a few seconds to let the glue start to set. I'll also add some glue here to the upper part of the back of his legs also known as his butt, <laughs> and then we can place that onto the body as well, pressing it here into his waist area. And you can see we don't really have to wait for the different sections of the model to dry as we work on this. Because of how the pieces fit in the sockets, they'll stay in place while we work. As you can see, this model will stand upright on the base all on its own, so we can easily finish this off by adding a little bit of glue to the feet here, and then centering it on the base like this. Now sometimes you might have a model that won't stand upright on its own while the glue dries, and for that I recommend some sticky tack. For example, if this was prone to falling backwards, I might mold this into a shape behind it just to keep it upright, and then once the glue dries, I can remove it. With your first model complete, you can now just leave it to dry while you work on the next miniature, or in our case here, you can just join me in the next video, which I'll link to below, that will show you how to customize your forces for your first battle, as well as set up the table to play. However, if you have any questions about anything that you saw here, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. But until the next episode, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.